So why is James mentioned? Except for he would have been, you know, a leader for that particular congregation. We could go on and show you some examples there, but what I want you to see is, in spite of his relationship physically to the Lord, having the same mother, if you will, yet that gave him no advantage over any of the others, just like Mary. People tend to exalt Mary, but she was blessed among women. She wasn't blessed above women. And she uh, was taught by the Spirit concerning Christ, just like any of us has to be taught. And so all the more importance, I believe, in, in reading how James addresses himself here. James, a servant of God, even of the Lord Jesus Christ. He doesn't even, you know, we have to piece it together that he may well have been the half-brother, you know, of the Lord Jesus Christ. But that wasn't his badge of honor. That wasn't something he was promoting, but servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. And again, as I said, when it says of God, even of the Lord Jesus Christ, in all of our worship, service and praise belongs unto God, but through the Lord Jesus Christ. You'll hear preachers, you know, emphasizing uh, the experience of the worship of God. And even how they pronounce it sounds like, you know, there's an aura about it. The worship of God. But you can listen to the whole message. There's nothing of Christ in him crucified. There, there is no worship of God apart from the Lord Jesus Christ and what he accomplished there at Calvary. Now, there are many today attending places of worship that are atheists. You say, how can you say that? They're there to worship God, they believe in God, God, Bible, and the flag, and all this. They don't believe the God of the Bible. And this, again, is one of the areas today in our society where there's a battle raging because there is a politically correct God which, if as long as you stay within those parameters, they will say to you, well, everything's okay. But you get outside of those parameters and suddenly now people are against that kind of God. What kind of God are they against? Well, they're against one who's sovereign and who does his will uh, that saves whom he will and condemns whom he will and that has ordained that salvation is of, in, by, and through the Lord Jesus Christ, his Son alone. And I know a lot of people say, well, that excludes a lot of people if you're saying that. Yes, it does. Christ himself said, narrow is the way, straight is the gate, and there are few that enter in. When the Lord said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no man comes unto the Father but by me. What he's saying is, not by your agreeing with me, it's not what he's saying, but by me. But by me drawing, by me authorizing, by me bringing such. And that's what he did through his death there on the cross. They accused Christ of being a lawbreaker, which is insane, but he's the giver of the law. But they had their traditions, they had their customs, and it was corrupt. And our Lord didn't give way even one space to them in their accusations. But this was one which our Lord cited because they accused him of, he of healing on the Sabbath day. Their, their idol was the Sabbath day without seeing why the Lord had made that Sabbath day to begin with. The reason he made it to begin with was for a type and picture of the Lord Jesus Christ as the sinner's rest. It was never designed to be a legalistic binding up of men. But when the Lord commanded rest, it was to remind them that this one who, was, who would come would be the Lord of the Sabbath and, and he through him would be their rest. 
The same is true here of the showbread. What did the showbread? Every part of that tabernacle represented in some way the Lord Jesus Christ in his detail. The showbread was made to be eaten. It was, it was a type of Christ, the bread of life. Now, not eaten in any way. It took, it took the priest. It was for the priest to eat. Once, once it had been the showbread, means it, would, it, it was put out on the table before the Lord, but it was to be eaten afterward. And so that's what David took and, and ate, Christ being his sustenance. 